all right hey everyone and welcome back to my channel it's me miss mo um i'm trying to, i'm making this video just to like past time really um but i guess i could be doing something else like cooking or something you know getting getting really ready for the weekend and the weekend all that stuff but i don't feel like doing it um, but I did want to, so I just, just basically shooting the shit and I was, um, I was listening to the Cam Newton podcast, Funky Fridays. Well, I don't know what it's called. I keep hearing fellowship. I don't, I don't know what he's saying, <laughs> but uh, I know Funky Fridays is something related to the podcast. And so, um, I was listening to it and the first time I listened to it, like my friend told me about it. The first time I listened to it, I was looking, um, it was because Regina Carter was on there. And I don't know what it is about her YouTube channel. Like, she just looks so happy. And it's just like, and her smile looks so genuine too. Like, I mean, not, not to say that it's not, but it's just, she's like, she's just happy. <laughs> and it's so contagious. And then her, her, her partner, um, I don't know, just them smiling together, just, it just makes me smile. And so I'm just, um, so anyway, so I will be watching her channel and I saw that she was on the Cam Newton, Cam Newton's podcast. And so I was watching it and I was just like, you know, listening. Um, and like, this was my first time not hearing about Cam Newton, but like really, but like basically hearing him talk. Like I've never really heard him talk before. And just the way that he talk is just like, it's a rhythm. I, I tell you, like, melanated man, black man, African-American man, they have a rhythm to their voice. And it's something that's so intoxicating about it because it's just, it's, it's, it almost sounds like a song in a way. It's just like... <laughs> a melanated man or and I'll just say uh I don't I don't like saying the term black um but like an African American man I don't know I feel like black men really really get get to the root of it so let me just keep it let me just keep it real a uh, black American man um the rhythm of their voice the way that they approach life um it's it's a tight, it's a vibration to it that is just it, it's almost intoxicating, um, like it just draws you in. And again, so I've never really heard Cam Newton speak, but you know I um, so that that was my first time hearing him speak, and it's just like this is Cam Newton, <laughs> this is the uh, the North Carolina football player. Like this, that dude, like I heard of him because I'm from the South and you know, football is life. Um, but I never really heard him speak before. And I'm just like, he's interesting. He's interesting. Like I, I, I like the approach that he takes. I feel when like he speaks about stuff, when he brings like that other perspective to something, it's more so like he like, it, it genuinely, genuinely, seems like he's just trying to have like an authentic conversation and i'm like i feel like that's pretty cool um and so today i watched um let me see how i look okay <laughs> and so today i watched um i actually watched two of his um two of his um episodes today and the first one was the one with b simone because b simone is She's interesting. She's interesting. And then with Megan Brooks, um, because sometimes I do watch the Know For Sure podcast or listen to it. Um, and their dynamic is just like very interesting. Like B. Simone just seems like she she going through life, <laughs> joking, joking through life. But like she just she really trying to get together, in my opinion. And I feel like she does. She does have her life together. But I just feel like she just jokes a lot. And like Megan Brooks is just like, no. Like, I don't got time for your shit. <laughs> and so it's just like a nice balance to see. But they were on his um, podcast and they were talking and he was just talking about 
like relationships and being patient with people and being patient enough to wait for somebody to basically get their shit together. And B. Simone was like, well, you can do, you can get your shit together and us be single. And I'm like, this is true. This is very true. <laughs> because at first, like before I got into a relationship um, and even before I started dating, I think I forgot that people were just human beings and that like, you know, people, everybody don't have it figured out. Like we all don't have it figured out. So I mean, Sometimes it just feels like we're making shit up as we go. And um, so when I think Cam Newton was trying to say that, like, you know, I don't know. It, it, it was just kind of interesting because on one side, on one hand, I understand what B. Simone was saying in, in that, like, you know, you really shouldn't be in a relationship if you don't got your shit figured out. And I agree to that. Like, there's a, like, I def, I agree to a certain extent. I agree to the point of, like, you don't have to have everything figured out. You don't have to be 100% whole, in a sense. But the big shit, you have to, got, you got to get it figured out. And I think that, that, like, Although it's not like, I think that what Cam Newton was saying is that like, are you willing to stick around when that person is still working on that 10%, whatever that 10% is that they got to get figured out. Um, And I think that, I think that. In relationships. People are. And that's why I say that you, that's why I said that you don't necessarily have to have, is that a camera? Oh, then maybe that's a street light. Oh, my bad. <laughs> and that's why I said that you don't necessarily have to have like everything, everything figured out because as people, we're constantly evolving. So, and if you were to have everything figured out, that means that you would basically need to have gone through every trigger situation to figure out what your triggers are and how to maneuver through that trigger in a healthy way. But, you know, again, we just be making stuff up as we go. So, um, so I don't think that, so that's why I say I agree with B. Simone, like you need to have that stuff figured out. And it's like, (laughs) <laughs> sometimes you don't even know what you need to have figured out and and that's why I, I say that I agree with Cam Newton as well because it's like um you know you don't you love you love the person y'all in that honeymoon stage and then boom something happened and shit get real and you have to ask yourself do I stay through this is it something that I can take on? Is it something that I want to take on? And I think that that is the difficult part. One of the difficult parts of being in a relationship. Um, the other one is just like sharing your space, you know. And they even talk about that too, about like, um, you know, sometimes your guy or the, the dude that you would, they just want to be by themselves. And that may be just... And that may involve just being on the game or something or um, playing street ball or, or doing some, or basically just not being around your ass. And that's perfectly fine. <laughs> and like for the, the young lady, um, that could be watching some TV, going to get their nails done, um, going to get their hair done exercising you know it could be something that just doesn't involve the other person and um yeah I just thought it was just like a very interesting conversation and like I think he has a very interesting podcast because he don't just seem like he instigate instigate situations it really does seem like he just wants to have a genuine conversation um and like just bring up opposing views to kind of see like you know how you really stand with what you're saying on 
Um, and so, yeah, I just think it's just very refreshing to find a new podcast, something to enjoy. Um, and again, I just think that he brings just like a very interesting perspective to stuff. Um, so yeah, but my phone is about to, I don't got that much storage left, so I'm about to hop off, but thank you for watching.